The No Surprises Act brought sweeping consumer protections to medical billing. But one heart attack survivor is surprised by what the law does not cover. Our Jenna Sachs with the gap in protection and the charge being called excessive in tonight's Context 6 report. It felt like just like a muscle spasm. Michael James has grown tired of surprises. Triage nurse took the blood pressure. There was his heart attack in May. I never felt like I was getting sick, like I was about to pass out, like I was going to go. Then in November came a collection notice. The ambulance was out of network. It was here at West Dallas Medical Center that Michael learned he was having a heart attack. From here, an ambulance took him about five miles to St. Luke's Hospital for a stent procedure. That ride cost him nearly $6,000. More now that the bill has gone to collections. We never saw it, whether it got misdelivered or whatever. A person doesn't really have a choice or doesn't have time to stop and ask if that ambulance is covered in their insurance network. As of 2022, the No Surprises Act protects against out-of-network balance bills in medical emergencies and against bills for out-of-network doctors at in-network facilities. But according to Wisconsin's insurance commissioner, there is a gap in uh, protection. Turns out consumers don't get the same protections for ground ambulance bills. It's frankly got me thinking the next time something goes wrong, not to take an ambulance. More than two-thirds of emergency ground ambulance rides in Wisconsin result in an out-of-network charge. Air ambulance rides have protections under the No Surprises Act, so why not ground? Ground ambulance services are, are very unique in a number of different ways from other health care providers. The American Ambulance Association explains they're not just health care providers, but emergency responders and interfacility transporters. Regulation of ambulances varies between states and communities, so... Probably doesn't fit necessarily into the one-size-fits-all mold. $7,000 seems very exorbitant for about a four-mile ride. Anthem, Wisconsin, agrees Michael Michael's charge is too high. It paid Superior Ambulance $1,800 for Michael's ride, which is 20% greater than what Medicare reimburses. It tells Contact 6 Superior Ambulance chooses not to contract with Anthem, Wisconsin. And the insurer has tried asking Superior that this excessive charge be waived. Superior Ambulance points the finger right back, saying it is a shame that the patient's insurer will not approve a fair reimbursement for the services provided. Superior told Contact 6 it's open to negotiation. We have insurance to cover emergencies. For Michael, the biggest surprise in the No Surprises Act is what's not protected. It's time to get everybody to sit down in the room and put that together. I'm Jenna Sachs, Contact 6. Thank you, Jenna. The No Surprises Act does order a committee form and come up with billing recommendations for ground ambulances. Its first meeting is in January. Both Anthem and Superior Ambulance Bill say the plan to discuss Michael's bill with Superior saying it will get resolved.